Tuanya Nikuenero <tose> Mamo Ona timuga bogo tigo na gu. Shiga na ni shiga na ndo tuge tere shiga na rochio ni umoto. Mara kwa kwa hau tere makihora kino timu na. Hii na kedi. Ino abi chi ona mara hura kino tito do meda kino tia hera mara hivi ino na tui na gu ha. Aya ni orgo kira kino tui. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We came here in the morning with our clan, the honourable man and Jenga. Maina Jenga was accompanied by about six lawyers, including myself, Professor Jakoya, Jeremiah Kioni, and we had uh, our Paul, uh, 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 about seven lawyers, Paul Mang. And uh, Ndegwa, his lawyer, was with him in Nakuru yesterday. What has happened is that uh, while asking why he had been summoned here, the DCI said there were fresh charges that were to be preferred against Maina Jenga. They have just charged him afresh. And as they were charging him, we were insisting that he be accompanied by his lawyers to court. Unfortunately, they were able to sneak in and sneak our clan out of the room where we were. As we speak, we were told he was being taken to uh, Nakuru courts. We have also been told they are headed towards Kiambu courts. They are going to Kiambu. In a very clandestine manner. We are very embarrassed. And I must say this as, as the last minister for justice of the Republic of Kenya. We were also with another minister for justice, Honorable Martha Karua, that our DCI and our police can behave in such an unprofessional manner to be able to steal a client from his lawyers 
and disappear with it. We want to say today that Mahinda Njenga is a Kenyan. They might call him a former Mungiki leader, but he is a reformed leader who is a bishop of the Hope Church, and he has every right to be treated according to the provisions of our constitution. If anything happens to Mahinda Njenga, we want to hold William Ruto and his deputy Rigadi Gashaku. Because up 